Hey guys, happy Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, and if you didn't see my Alice in Wonderland review, I'll put a little annotation right there so you can go and check that out. Um, but today I have the very first um, mo the Monday tutorial of a series of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday tutorials. Monday is going to be um, Final Cut or maybe like a build episode or whatever you guys request. Um, leave a comment down below if you want something done. Or um, send me an email at medievalhollywood at gmail.com. On Wednesday we'll have the iWeb tutorials, and Friday again we'll have a Final Cut or Pro, um, like Final Cut Express or Final Cut Pro tutorial. So um, today we're going to be working with a kind of an outside body glow effect. Um, it's popular in Shane Dawson's videos, they're good for like music videos or intros, um, and I made a little example for you, so here you guys go. So as you can see, that was um, really good for like an intro or a commercial or something like that. Um, a lot of intensity. Um, you can always find a uh, little background track on um, GarageBand or um, the web. So look around for those, and they got some pretty good ones out there. Um, but as for that, let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you guys want to do is you know, you're going to need to get your um, actor shot on a green screen. Um, this effect will only work on a green screen because um, you need it to be form-fitting to your actor's body. Um, here I have a clip. I've already got it keyed out and everything. And just for the sake of tutorial and time, I, I pre-did that so we can get jumped right into the effect. And if you want to see my chroma key tutorial, um, click this annotation. It'll take you to the link, or you know, to, the, to the video. So once we um, have that selected, come up here to Effects, Video Filters, Glow, and you want to hit Outer Glow. And already we can see um, we have like these kind of a, a red and a yellow glow around the actor's body. Um, and if you want to change the colors, um, click that, come up here to filters, and where it says outer glow, um, should be below a chroma key. Um, we can change the radius, which is pretty much just the amount of it. Um, the brightness, like kind of like the intensity. Um, I recommend not having that too high because it'll look kind of blocky and you'll get some pixelation around the uh, edges. But um, here we have the inner color, and we can always change this to, say, like a blue. Um, as we can see, it gets blue on the inside, and the outer color, let's make this a green, maybe. Um, the range is um, pretty much the balance between the colors. Um, it's set to by default to 0.25, so the uh, I think it's going to be the outer color that has less, and the inner has more. Um, 0.5 is just about equal amounts, but I recommend about 0.42 or 0.4 just kind of add a, a little bit of a balance but it's still kind of equal. Um, the horizontal it's pretty much um, the amount of the glow on the sides. As we uh, see here if it's at like 8 or 0 or so um, it's pretty um, not much on the sides although if we bring it um, up to 100 it's um, full on the sides the glow. And then for the vertical it's pretty much the same thing but just on like the top and bottom instead of the sides. Um, and also we have the mix um, just like in all effects, just the amount of it. Um, and that's the basic um, glow effect. Memory noise, change the colors. Um, there's some other things that you guys may want to check out. Um, like a um, dazzle is pretty cool if you have some text. Um, as you saw at the very end of the intro where it said Medieval Hollywood, and it was kind of that um, light ray effect. Um, that can also be done um, using the um, light rays. That looks pretty cool. And um, also remember, you can always find a little bit of a background track. Like this one came with my um, Final Cut uh, Pro and the uh, Soundtrack Pro. It's a piece of software that comes with it for mixing audio and stuff. But they also have a full list of um, like background, you know, background tracks like this. They have um, some Foley stuff um, and just some really interesting sound effects. I might do a little bit uh, tutorial in the future. But here we have um, just the background track. As we can see, it's not too exciting, we, um, but um, I recommend adding some motion to this if you're making like, an intro. Um, there's countless videos on the web of keyframing, which is this button right down there. Um, so you can just um, search on YouTube or Google for keyframing tutorials. Um, now this tutorial, I bet, can probably done, be done in a different editing software other than just Final Cut. Um, I'd be surprised if it couldn't, so 
look around if you're a PC user. Um, so this has been the uh, Monday uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on Wednesday with an iWeb tutorial. Um, thank you very much for watching. And please subscribe. And I love you guys. Hearts and kisses.